At 400 kilometers away in the sky, there is the International Space Station. This space station has been orbiting our Earth continuously for the past 23 years. In appearance, this space station seems very small, but in reality, its size is as big as a football stadium and its weight is 420,000 kilograms, which approximately equals the weight of a fully loaded commercial aircraft. But the question arises, how did this space station, as big as a football ground, go from Earth to space? Viewers, the International Space Station, or ISS, is the most expensive object made by humans so far. The total cost of building this space station was $150 billion. What is the purpose of the ISS? How do the astronauts living in it stay without gravity? How do they get food, water, and most importantly, oxygen? And how was it taken from Earth to space? You will be able to know all this in today's video. The ISS, though spread out as big as a football ground, mostly consists of solar panels attached to it, but the part where the astronauts live is also as big as a six-bedroom house. The ISS orbits our world at a speed of 27,500 kilometers per hour, a speed so fast that it completes 16 orbits around the Earth in 24 hours. But in the last 23 years, not once has it deviated from its orbit. The only purpose of the ISS and the astronauts living in it is experiments. Yes, there are laboratories made by America and Russia in the ISS, which are also called space laboratories. In these laboratories, astronauts conduct experiments on various things brought from Earth and see how they react in space. At the same time, natural disasters coming to Earth can be predicted with its help, thus preventing a lot of damage. And more so, experiments and research are being done with the help of ISS on how it might be possible for humans to live on planets other than Earth, like Mars. On the ISS, a total of six astronauts live, for whom there are capsules available that are connected to each other for living and working. From bathing and eating to entertainment and exercising, all kinds of facilities are available for astronauts in these capsules. If there's something that's missing, it's Earth's gravity, meaning gravity. Yes, due to the absence of gravity, these astronauts cannot feel their weight, nor do they feel like sitting or lying down. To move from one capsule to another, they push themselves and hold on to different things, flying like Superman. They have countless food items available, but these are not foods cooked on Earth. Instead, they are pre-cooked packed foods. All the tasks we do daily on Earth are done in a completely different manner on the space station due to the absence of gravity, such as drinking water, brushing teeth, using the bathroom, and exercising. Since astronauts become very lazy and slow in space, they have special types of exercise machines on which exercising for two hours daily is mandatory for them. Similarly, astronauts do bathe in space but without water. Yes, they have special kinds of shampoo and soap that do not require water to apply on the body. They are simply wiped off with a dry towel. Apart from various research and experiments, the astronaut's job also includes taking care of the ISS. If they ever need to go outside the space station, they cannot go out without a spacesuit, because in space, there can be heat up to plus 250 degrees and cold up to minus 250 degrees at the same time. If the sun is present, it would instantly burn a person's body, and if the sun is not present, it would freeze a person instantly. That's why this spacesuit was created, which has mechanisms for oxygen, pressure, and protection from heat and cold. For sleeping, there are small cabins in the ISS where they can comfortably sleep by securing themselves in a sleeping bag. For six astronauts, the food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner lasts for six to seven months. That means a total of 3,780 meals are prepared and delivered to the ISS for seven months. Surprisingly, the cost to deliver just one kg of food to it is about $10,000. These meals are not prepared by chefs, but by NASA food scientists. The challenge for NASA food scientists is to prepare food for astronauts that is not only lightweight, but also doesn't require refrigeration for storage for up to seven months and contains all the necessary nutrients. To achieve this, after cooking, these food scientists use freeze-drying technology to freeze the meals, which removes 97% of the water, 
reducing the weight of the food to just 3%. These dishes are then not only packed using a packing machine, but all the air is also removed from them. All the food is packed well in a parcel and placed in NASA's supply module, Cygnus, for dispatch. After a continuous journey of 48 hours, Cygnus delivers this food to the ISS. Now, let's talk about water usage. On the ISS, astronauts use only 1% of the water compared to people living on Earth. Yes, there is a high-tech water recycling system on the ISS that filters wastewater present on the station, making it drinkable. You might be surprised to know that the water astronauts drink there is indeed clean, but in reality, it is made by recycling human waste present on the ISS. Even the sweat that they produce is sucked by the water recycling system, which then filters it and makes it usable again. In this way, the ISS manages to save 99% of water usage. In space, astronauts use artificial oxygen for breathing, but how is this oxygen delivered to space since oxygen also has weight? Each person uses 840 grams of oxygen a day, meaning six astronauts use 1,000 kilograms of oxygen in six months in space. This 1,000 kilos of oxygen is not sent from Earth. Instead, there is a system on the ISS for generating oxygen. Yes, according to NASA, oxygen is produced on the space station through electrolysis, meaning electricity obtained from solar panels is used to split water into oxygen. Viewers, the total weight of the International Space Station is 420,000 kilograms, which has never been empty in the past 21 years. The space station, as big as a football field, was made by connecting different modules. Surprisingly, these modules were never assembled together on Earth. The space station, first launched in 1998, looked like this, but over time, new modules prepared on Earth were added, and finally, after 13 years of effort, that is, in 2011, it took its final shape. Now, let's learn some amazing facts about the ISS. The ISS produces 120 kilowatts of electricity through solar panels in a day, which is as much electricity as used by 40 homes. There are a total of 50 computers installed inside the ISS, which operate the entire space station. The ISS has a total of two bathrooms, six sleeping quarters, and one gym. From 1998, to now, 230 astronauts have visited the ISS, coming from 18 different countries. In case of any emergency, a spacecraft can reach the ISS from Earth in just four hours. During a spacewalk, two astronauts cannot hear each other's voices because sound travels to our ears through air, which is not present in space. After the moon, the second brightest object in the sky is the ISS which can be seen from Earth without the need for a telescope. During 24 hours, astronauts on the International Space Station can see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.